video, we're going to do a bunch of energy and momentum demonstrations. But we're going to focus on energy because the demos are less well known. For example, you probably understand that energy is conserved, like the water in these flasks. I can convert it from potential to kinetic, but I don't lose any in the conversion. And back again. Now this demonstration was done with food dye, but another way to do it is with acid-base indicators, or just plain ordinary water. The point is, the total amount of water is always a constant value. Oops, I spilled some. Does that mean the total amount of water is not conserved? No, there's just a different form of it now. It's been converted into heat and sound and light, but the total energy is still present. It's just a less usable form than mechanical energy. One of the best energy demos is this racing marbles lab. Two marbles are released from the same height and race along different paths, but which one will reach the finish first? Make your guess and tell the person next to you why you think you're right. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Now that you have seen the result, explain it correctly. The marble that was allowed to dip lower got to convert its potential energy into kinetic energy, which let it go faster. The higher marble moved at pretty much the same constant speed. By the end of the race, they do both finish at the same speed, just not at the same time. We can introduce the idea of energy the way Galileo described it. A pendulum is swung from a specific height, and somehow it always seems to remember the height from which it was released. How does it remember? Momentum is transferred by collisions. This ball does not bounce, but this ball bounces well. Which of these two is more likely to knock over the wood block? Make your guess. First, we test the doesn't bounce. Doesn't work. Now, the bouncy ball. The bouncing transfers more momentum because it bounces backwards with negative momentum. The total change is larger than just coming to a stop. Most people understand that potential energy is relative to some zero energy point. For example, this ball has the potential to roll off the stack of books to the table, but it could also fall off the table to the floor and it could even fall down a well to the center of the earth. And it even could fall to the center of the Milky Way galaxy. But how do I demonstrate that kinetic energy is also relative? Well, if I walk with this pendulum, I show that its motion is relative to me. In fact, my calculation of its kinetic energy depends on how fast I'm moving. If we move together, I might calculate that it has no kinetic energy until I stop and it looks to be swinging again. Normally, we use the laboratory frame as a method to calculate the relative velocities. For example, this would be zero and anything else would be non-zero. At the beginning of the video, I promised to show you that energy and momentum were not the same thing. And this lab proves it immediately. If I let the marble roll from 10 centimeters up, I get this velocity. If I repeat the experiment from 20 centimeters up, I do not get twice the velocity. I only get radical two times as much. If I want to double the velocity, I have to four times the height. There, 
Four times the height gives you twice the original velocity. The height is increasing with the velocity squared, which is what we expect from potential and kinetic energy. I hope you found this video insightful. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. A new video will be posted every month. So if you enjoyed watching this one, subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking this link right here. And check out some of our other cool videos. If you like watching this one, give us a thumbs up. For more information on the products used in this video, click this link right here.